Okay, so now we're in matcha health class. So I'm gonna read some research to you and then I'm going to translate what it means. So I'm drinking my matcha. Once again, here's the jar. And if you um, are a member of our subscription and you are a member for the big jar, you're gonna get a pouch to put in your big jar. You have no idea how much matcha powder can get everywhere when you're packing it. <laughs> it's a lot. Okay, so I have some handy dandy facts here. All right, so these are all scientific studies and um, they're, they're all a little, you know, it's hard unless you're a scientist um, to know what they mean. But so health benefits of matcha, the brain, health, neuroplasticity, and neuroprotective. So neuroplasticity means that it helps the brain change and, and stay, instead of getting rigid and narrow-minded, it's expansive and growing. Um, and neuroprotective means that it's protecting your brain cells so that you don't end up with, you know, degenerative, uh, you know, like Alzheimer's or dementia later on. So the combination of caffeine and L-theanine has, has been shown to optimize brain function and enhance working memory. Who doesn't need better memory when it comes to things that matter? Cognitive performance, meaning how fast you think, how fast you can respond to things. Um, and it elevates mood. It, uh, you know, a lot of people say it feels like ecstasy. <laughs> And um, so what does ecstasy feel like? It feels like all of your brain chemistry is just like giving you a hug. It feels like you are um, on the right path. It feels as though the universe is um, adoring you. That's what ecstasy feels like for me when it, when it comes to the ecstasy I feel when I drink matcha. Mm. And this is also really important to know. Green tea's ability to counter oxidative stress also makes it a potent protector against neurodegenerative diseases, including Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. This is all scientific, like, quotes. So, um, a large-scale study also of middle-aged adults investigated the long-term association between polyphenol intake super high in polyphenols, and cognitive performance, finding that catechins were positively associated with language and verbal memory. So if you drink this while you're studying or learning a new skill or reading, you're going to remember, right? Your memory, um, you know, your memory bank is filled with riches. And so if you wanna access those treasures more and more through your life, drinking green tea will help you do that. So, um, Oh, they did a, a study of Japanese adults age 70 and older and examined the association between their consumption of green tea, matcha, and their cognitive function, and finding that the higher consumption of green tea was associated with lower prevalence of cognitive impairment as assessed by this study. So basically, and then there was also an, a study in healthy volunteers, and it showed that increased brain activity on on MRIs, so basically they scan the brain before and after having matcha over a period of time and the brain lights up on both sides. They also found that people who drink green tea, aka matcha, more often, like two to three times a day, also had more organized brains. So the creative side of the brain and the, the numbers side, analytical side of the brain were actually in more balance. So if you're an entrepreneur or if you're a mom or if you are, you know, in a high stress job or, you know, or if you're just a human trying to make sense of this world, then green tea will help you, especially matcha, in, in organizing your thoughts around the analytics as well as the creativity because it helps both sides of the brain um, fire. Um, f and function. So basically, they also said for heart, um, because matcha is full of polyphenols, um, it's rich in antioxidants called polyphenols, which have been tied to protection against heart disease and also blood pressure reduction. So heart disease is the number one killer of women in the United States, which breaks my heart. My mom, my own little tiny darling mom has had two heart attacks. And so what can we do to help protect our bodies and empower ourselves for better health? We can drink matcha. We can drink organic green tea. We can drink these teas to, as a daily self-care you know, mode so that we can protect our hearts. And it's been proven. This is all science. This isn't me making it up. So weight reduction, matcha is rich in antioxidants called polyphenols, which have been tied to better blood sugar regulation. That's why when I drink coffee, I reach for a Danish, but when I drink matcha, I'm actually like, I don't, I don't have cravings. And for me, I love 
chocolate. I love, I mean, give me a bag of chips and a glass of red wine and I'm in freaking heaven. But with the matcha, I've noticed my, my cravings have been reduced and it's proven. Here's another kicker. So better blood regulation um, comes from this. And then also it has been shown to boost metabolism. Is it, it is also linked to curbing appetite and preventing fat gain. This is a weird one, but, but follow me on this. Preventing fat gain by inhibiting a process known as angiogenesis the formation of new blood vessels, which fat tissue growth depends on. Okay, so what's wrong with the blood vessels we have? Why do we need to produce more blood vessels? Basically, matcha is like, you don't have to produce more blood vessels if your blood vessels are healthy. And so we're gonna keep your blood vessels you have healthy so that you don't produce more, which is also tied to weight gain. It's so weird, isn't it? But amazing. So immunity, okay, we're in the middle of a pandemic, people, and we need to boost our immunity, and you can do it, you can lose weight and be happier and boost your immunity by drinking this stuff. Um, so basically, it acts as a prebiotic, a food for the beneficial gut bacteria tied to healthy immunity. So this is going to help balance your gut bacteria, and I will tell you, I'm a lot less bloated since I started having this in my diet every day. Okay, anti-cancer. This is all scientific, I'm not doing this to, to make it up, but, but it's also been proven to be anti-cancer. An antioxidant categorized as a catechin, specifically found in matcha called EGCG, has been shown in research to slow or halt the growth of cancer cells. It's best to drink matcha powdered rather than in bags. Hear me here. Don't drink it in bags, okay? It's best to drink matcha powdered rather than in bags because the level of EGCG is significantly higher. Bam, all right? So basically you're looking at, I mean, there's so much more. Okay, we're just gonna read a couple more. Bear with me. All right, energy, boost. Matcha contains high levels of caffeine. That's the one thing. If you're too sensitive to caffeine, you're gonna have to mellow, mellow it out. But the trick with this is that the caffeine is tied to L-theanine, which calms the brain at the same time as you're getting the boost from the caffeine. So this is caffeine in its most perfect form. Um, but when it's combined, so it does have caffeine, but when combined with the amino acid in green tea, L-theanine, which produces a calming effect, the boost is more balanced than in coffee. So I always say coffee gives me courage and tea sustains me, and that's the truth. So this sustains me. Anti-aging. Research shows that polyphenols in green tea protect the skin from effects of ultraviolet light. So if you're out in the sun or if you ever, you know, put baby oil on and laid out in the sun like I did, like an idiot, then you're going to want to drink more and more of this because this protects your skin from UV light. Um, this helps prevent the acceleration of aging in addition to offering cancer fighting and anti-inflammatory benefits. Green tea compounds also help defend against wrinkles. Isn't that amazing? Due to their ability to prevent the breakdown of collagen and elastic fibers, which in turn forestall the loss of skin elast elasticity. So green tea is also great for wrinkles and for anti-aging and for your skin. In addition to all of that, it's also anti-stress. So the preparation of matcha is also a, a mindfulness ceremony. So while I showed you how to make it in glass and cups, one way to do it also is to do it in a in a matcha bowl, which we're, we're going to have these soon on our website. Um, and so what you do is you take your scoop, you put it in your matcha bowl, and you take your water. And this bowl's not clear, but And then if you have a whisk, you can use a bamboo whisk. And often as I'm preparing tea, I'll put a prayer into the tea. May this tea serve me so that I may serve others. May this tea serve my health so that my health may be the wealth for others, for my family. May this tea serve my heart, may it serve my skin, may it serve my digestion, may it serve my brain, may it serve my good nature and my positive energy so that I may be a beacon of light for others. So you can say whatever you want as you prepare your tea. And then as you bring it to your lips, 
You enjoy all the goodness of your prayers and your mindfulness exercise. So there you go. That is everything you need to know about matcha. And it's an endless array of goodness. And I hope that this is helpful for you. And so I just would love for you to drink to your health and you know, take over the world and be a force for good. All right, signing off, I'm Zena. Magic Hour founder and tea blender, and this is um, and this is our new ceremonial matcha. <laughs>